It's my first climb uh, after release and uh, just going through 4,000 foot now. Uh, very poor visibility today, you can see that. It's uh, probably about 15 kilometers or so. Uh, Dan just called on the radio, he said he's going to Milmarin, which is that way to the northwest. So I'll see how I can take this climb and uh, have a go at following him. So I'm uh, about 10 kilometers to the north of uh, Pittsworth, uh, 4,000 feet, and I haven't been doing really well at all. I haven't been able to get a good feel for how the thermals are working. And this is the my saviour thermal because I thought if I don't get something fairly soon, I'm going to have to. Uh, switch on the fez motor and um, get safe but this is a good climb it's uh, six uh, knots on the average at the moment that's really good it's the best I've had today it's been really a bit mediocre I think it's a combination of uh, the amount of moisture in the air the haze and the shadow on the ground has been sort of cutting off the thermal development a bit. It's starting to come on now, I think. So that's good. Uh, I'm just going to complete the circle and just have another look at those clouds to the southwest there. Uh, look quite high. Maybe I can connect with those, that would be good if I can do that. So I might go ahead directly west now and uh, see if I can connect with those clouds. I'll see how Dan's getting on, if uh, he's under the cloud or not. I'll give him a shout on the radio. So I switched on the motor. Um, decided not to push on. had the fez on twice um, on the north and the south side of Pittsworth uh, and uh, luckily I uh, jacked a decent climb south of Pittsworth uh, kept the fez running just to be sure and now I'm on the way back of hooked into this uh, five to six knot thermal it's taking me through up to 7,000 feet, which is the highest I've been today. I heard Dennis say on the radio that he was about eight and a half, so still a way to go yet. Uh, visibility still fairly poor, clouds starting to form now. Uh, so we're on the range over there, a lot of high cloud. wind has been shifting all over the place between westerly, northerly and southwesterly. So the forecast was for a change of wind coming through um, late in the day and chance of a thunderstorm in the evening so I would guess that's the case with all this moisture in the air. It's, uh, it's going to get converted into rain at some point, so I think it's a good idea to now stay fairly close to Warwick Airfield at that point, uh, venturing too far once I've got back. So, just stopping right now through 7,000 feet. Oh, that's the bin. It was really nice to be up this high. So 
going to try and track towards that cloud there. That's uh, roughly on the way back in the blue.